From a very young age, Rabindranath Tagore realized that without social and economic upliftment of rural India, no proper development is possible in this country. In 1904, he wrote his thoughts on a magazine named Shodeshi Shamaj. His ideas inspired the youth and thus with his own initiative he started the rural development model in the east of Shudul village Later this area came to be known as Sriniketan There was an old estate in Shurul popularly called as Kutibadi This was the house of an engineer from British East India Company It was then owned by zamindar of Raipur Narendra Prasanna Singh Tagore bought the entire estate from the zamindar in the year 1912 the building was repaired and the entire jungle was cleared off and the house warming ceremony was conducted on the poila boishak of 1914 cattle rearing and farming started on the lands around under the guidance of his son rathindranath tagore In 1921 when Tagore visited America he met Mr Leonard Knight Elmhurst He was an educated young man who shared the same vision as Tagore He with his friend Mrs Dorothy Strait came to Shantiniketan and gave a boost to the development of Shriniketan On 6th February 1922 Shurul Farm was founded which was also called Department of Agriculture Shantiniketan Elmhurst became the director of Shurul Samiti The name Shriniketan was first proposed by Tagore in the Vishwavarati Yearly Convention of 1923 He said that the purpose of the project is to revive the old glory of rural India. The social workers from Sriniketan went from village to village. Teams of workers had the responsibility to clear jungles repair roads and supply quinine many people joined and so cooperative association and rural development association were founded the samiti had rabindranath tagore as chancellor members included visionaries like Rathindranath Tagore, Devendra Mohan Bosu, Kali Mohan Ghosh, Gaur Gopal Ghosh and others. They worked in the villages of Binuria, Rupur, Islampur, Mohidapur, Shurul, Bandgora, Ballopur, Gwalpara, Raipur and Shupur. Santosh Chandra Majumdar became the director of Sriniketan after Elmhurst. Shikha Shatra School was founded in his house in 1924. Santosh Pathshala, the primary school, is named in his honor. 
in the department of agriculture students learned about farming process soil and seeds they spread their knowledge to the nearby villages demonstration plots were made in the villages where students went and taught about agriculture poultry cattle rearing pc culture bee keeping were also given equal importance development of cottage industry and handmade crafts were another important aspect of shriniketan thus the shilpo bhavan was founded leather works wooden works pottery paper making batik and other creative approaches to small scale industries were very common their products included dhoti shadi shawls handbags wallets belts etc Almost all the requirements of Shantiniketan area were fulfilled by the products from Shriniketan. These materials were also sold in places like Kolkata, Mumbai, Delhi and Nagpur. Learning by doing is the main objective of Shriniketan. Shikha Chorcha Bhavan was established to train people on various subjects. Lok Shikha Sangshad helped people who couldn't afford education. A mobile library named Cholontika traveled in the villages around to distribute books to remind people of their objectives there are different festivals held here holokoshon shilpo utsav srini ketan foundation day are the important ones in 1951 when vishwavarati became a central university the institute of rural development and shilpo bhavan received a new boost tegors vision is still proudly carried forward by different institutions of shriniketan the social works done by the students of bishwavarati university has transformed many villages in bengal srini ketan is committed to the upliftment of rural india which is the lifeline of entire country <laughs>